Hey everybody, I have a sample practice problem for you today in Python. Let's go ahead and scroll down here so you can see both our sample data set on top as well as the final product down below. And if you want to download the Jupyter notebook I'm working on and work along with me, link to the file is down in the video description below. And feel free to pause the video now to read over the question as well as look over our sample data. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. So first of all, why would we want to go from this data frame and reshape it into this up here? And there are two possible reasons. Number one is it all depends on what your stakeholder wants to see. So it's a really useful skill to be able to reshape and manipulate your data frames depending on what you need to do. And secondly, and this is more of a general rule, is it's going to be easier to visualize data that is in the long or unpivoted form compared to the wide or pivoted form. And that's, again, generally true across most software. So what is the wide or pivoted data frame? So we're looking at an example of it right here with our starting data frame. So if we look at all of these columns here, these column names are actually giving us information. We're actually getting multiple pieces of information about these numbers based on the column names alone. So you can see how these columns could easily be broken up into a country column and even a, another column like the type of number it is. So like either revenue or unit sales. So the true long form unpivoted data frame will only have one value or numerical column. All the other columns are going to be categorical and they're essentially going to be telling you what that number is. So let's take a quick look at an example here. So to unpivot data frames, we're going to use pandas.melt. So pd.melt. First, we need a data frame, which is going to be df. And then we need id vars. And id vars are the columns you want to leave. So you don't want to unpivot those. We're going to keep those. So we want to keep the SKU or the product ID, the product category, and the gender. So let's go ahead and I think we can actually just copy those right here from our markdown cell. Put that into a list. And there are two types of columns in pandas.mel. One is the ID vars. Again, these are the, vol the, the variables that you want to keep. The other is the value vars, and that's what you want to pivot. So pandas.melt will assume that any columns in your data frame that you don't put in ID vars will be value vars. So we can actually just go ahead and get rid of that. And if we run this as is, you can see our result. So again, we only have this one value column and all the other columns are telling you what that number is. So we could easily do a little work here and split this column up into first the country and then the, the variable essentially. So either revenue or unit sales if we want to. And that would be your true long form data frame. But that's not what the question is asking for. So we actually want two uh, value or numerical columns in our solution. So we want both revenue and unit sales. So one option on how to do that could be to start with our long form and then actually pivot that into our final solution here. I think the easier way to do it is like so. So we're gonna do one at a time, one for revenue, one melt for revenue, and then one for unit sales, and then merge or join them together. So let's get our value vars, and let's go ahead and do revenue first. So let's make sure we get the right columns. So it's index zero, one, two, so starting at three. It should be three, two, seven. And there we go. So those are all of our revenue columns. Let's go ahead and copy that. And those will be our value vars. And then we also have var name. And this is just telling pandas what to name that variable column. So we'll call this country. And then the value name. So telling pandas what to name the value column. And that will be revenue. So we can go ahead and run that. And here's our result. So because we did not include any of these unit sales columns here, those have now been eliminated from the data frame. So we now have our revenue data frame. We'll call that RevDF. And then let's go ahead and copy this and do the same thing, but for our unit sales. So we'll call this sales df. ID vars are going to be the exact same, but we need to change those value vars. So I think this should then be 
from index seven on. Yep, so those are all of our unit sales columns. Var name is still gonna be country and the value name will be, we'll call it unit sales. And as always, let's print it out and make sure it looks good. Okay, so next thing I wanna do here is now clean up this country column. So I only want the country, we don't need that underscore unit sales anymore because we have a column here telling us what that number is. And to make it easy, and because I'm lazy, we can just put this into a for loop um, and we can do it all in one step here rather than doing one data frame at a time. So for, say data in, then put our two data frames into a list. So rev df and sales df. Then data country, both columns are called country, so that'll work. And data is gonna to refer to our data frame in the for loop. And we're basically just gonna go ahead and overwrite this column. And could be a couple ways to do this. Uh, one could be with a list comprehension. I'm gonna use dot map and a lambda function. And to get an idea of what this is doing here, I can use any variable here. We'll just call it this X. I want to first split this on the underscore here. And what the Lambda function is doing is it's, it's, it's basically going to iterate through every value in that column. So it's going to come through this USA unit sales string. And first let's go ahead and split this. So we can say dot split and I want to split on the underscore. So in this case, because we have two underscores, this should split it into three different pieces. We should have a list of uh, three units here. And I only want the first one or index zero, which is gonna contain the country. And that's true in the revenue data frame as well. So we say index zero as USA. And let's put this in title format to capitalize the first letter. So that should work well for uh, Canada, China, and India. And then for the US, I can say dot replace. And let's swap out USA with just the capital U to USA in all caps. And there we go. Okay. So I can go ahead and copy this. And now I just have to swap out this string for X. That's what we're going to transform this into. So I can run that line of code and then let's print out one of our data frames. Okay, so we've cleaned up that column. Let's look at the other one just to make sure. That also looks good. And now let's just go ahead and join these two columns together. So pandas.merge. For our case, we don't really care um, which table's on the left and which is on the right. So I can say revdf is the left table and then salesdf as the right table. And I wanna make sure I'm joining on all of these columns. So skew product category, product gender and country. So we don't have any misaligned rows here. So on, and then I think I should be able to copy paste this again from up here, all the way up to country. So copy that. And then as for how we join, so how being you know, left, right, inner, outer, uh, in this case, it shouldn't matter because all the rows we have in one of our tables, we also have in the other and vice versa. So I think we can go ahead and just leave that out, run that line of code, and there is our final solution. Let's call this tidyDF. We'll print out our data frame and we're good to go. So again, reshaping data frames, very useful skill, whether it's for data visualization or again, just being able to be flexible and produce what your stakeholder wants to see. So that is the end of the video today. Please leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new, and as always, thanks for watching.